this point from Ice. He's rotated top. They haven't spotted him. I don't think these observers, this observer was just deployed, and it doesn't uh, actually, well, I think it, it just missed him coming. He hasn't even used his like, fast battle period time because, I mean, he's pretty far, but he's sitting at 47 CS. If it's in, they'll go down with the disruption, as well as a, a bit of a stun there. And, Done and now gonna find Yamate who should be dead here with the roar. There's an RP as well. They won't even need it, they'll just burst him down with the nuke. So, well executed gank by LGD. He's completely zoned out. We'll see a blink RP in mid going on to Yamate, pulling him back into the skewer. Now, the ice path comes out, doesn't actually hit. They have to blow the roar as a result, which is a bit unfortunate. And now, RP and roar on cooldown. So, with the dragon dead, the question is. Can Zen make anything happen to punish this? Well, they can lose ice, 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 ice. They can't do There's anything. There's just nowhere right. to go. Yeah, and you can see LGD have just been so decisive for their games. You can see where their pro is like. They Mid completely lane. ignored the carry. Oh my. They found ice. Skew it back. There is a carapace. This could be what needs to keep him alive, but Soul Catcher Raw Axis just obliterated him. There's a Shadow Demon Disruption Fault. They're going to bring down Ice, Ice, Ice as well. And ice, Ice, Ice. This has just not been his game. Yeah, let's. That's a great way to put it. it They're rotating in. The courier might be sniped. Chow eight on the run. There's your roar. Gonna hold ice in position for the moment. The carapace not even deployed yet. Yao dropping quickly, but a blink RP! A DDC RP! Where's the follow-up? Is it here? They have a monovoid. Haven't thrown it out yet. It will go. Not the best monovoid ever. Three heroes dead for LGD and Zenith. They needed that big fight. They needed that opening, that out of position moment for Zenith, and they get it in a huge uh, for LGD in a huge, huge way. They get four. And they're gonna force the anti-mage to basically head for the hill. They're muscling the tower down, the ice path from flying, catches out Yamate, remember, no RP, so I think no fight for LGD. Oh no, they'll lose long DD here, he gets caught out of position, he'll probably drop, he will do so in the end. Now Yamate with the Shadow Blade, head full of Steve, comes in, finds Shadow Blade, is it going to be the one by one pickoffs that we saw last game, the disruption is here, RP actually pulling down in 5 seconds, but it's too late. They're trading towers. I think this is okay for LGD. And in the end, the tower will fall mid. Yeah, LGD, it's also a tier 2 top, so it's not really an important tower. Silar can even look to get a tier 1 bottom. And there's no glyph, so he'll just bring this down really quickly. Yeah. Is he going to go for it? No, he's not yet. He's going to steal their ancients. Oh, that really hurts. If he gets this and the tier 1, this will be huge. But here comes the potentially huger thing. It's the bait back and then run back in. A little loop de loo here for Zenith. They'll find one. They'll find Long DD. He'll eat an impale, but Magnus will 10 second BKB run away. An expensive 10 second BKB. They might catch out Ice Ice Ice. He's been the problem spot for Zenith. A vacuum will catch too. There's your wall. Not a problem here. Illuminate comes through. DDC, no BKB for you. He's dead. Yao's on the run. Now to range for the Eclipse, which is only hitting creeps on Ice Path, will make that Eclipse completely wasted in the end. But Yao is now being slowed. He's being kited. He's being brought down. And on the backside, it's Silar who's here, but he's back at the base because without their mag, without their Beastmaster, there is no out. fight. So they're going to go for a smoke kick and try to become the initiators themselves. Yeah, and they have such a great initiation. This looks to be a lot of trouble for Yamate, who will be purged. I'll try to TP out, but no chance of that. A blink in, but BKB Silar's here. There's your RP. Catches out too. Monoboy can be here. It's not even used yet. Yamate's still on the run. One more hit for death. He'll die. They get three. They're, oh, they probably got three. As our... Oh, Lucky, he's on the run currently. On the other side, it's going to be Silar's Still chopping away. That 10 second BKB does work. The Aegis actually just wore off, I believe. And now a triple kill for Silar. Ice 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 Ultra kill for Silar. The combat build pays dividends. Luna buyback. What can she accomplish? I think Yamate bought back as well. Double buyback on the carries. And they get nothing off of it. And Yao's waiting. Yao's got the gem. He's gonna spot Yamate out. He's not gonna go yet. He's waiting. He's waiting. But there's the BKB. It comes off. There is an RP available. Not being used. Xiao Wei defensively disrupts himself. Silar jumps in. They want Yamate. They want Yamate. They RP him. They bring him down. And now they go into more. There's no buyback on Yamate. There's no buyback on Miracle. That's two heroes down the drain. Ice 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 potentially on the run. No, uh, not gonna die though. There's no blink skewer. Just look at that tower melt. There's no glyph. It's dropping fast. They need a blinding light here. Unfortunately, I think it's a cooldown right now. The tower falls uncontested. The wall is dropped. Not really the best wall. Siler fighting a couple of illusions off. 
I mean, not even the best. Let's he just be like two shotted his own illusion. I don't know how he took that. Like but up here just on Yamate. Yamate out of mana now. The BKB style used very preemptively. They need to bring down Yamate. They're not going to succeed in doing so. But there's no wall. And I feel like I don't know if they can fight yeah. this without that. The RP is on cooldown. But they're extra dropping quickly. LG, you want to get this and get the hell out. There's a two hero pill. There's a vacuum. But where is the follow up? It's Yamate back at base. Not even here. They're trying to rack bottomly while this Counter is happening with the Luna. Yao's going to drop. BKB is on cooldown for the anti mage. Blows one up with the ult. Looking for ice. Might get him as well. He will. Gem has been passed around like a hot potato this fight. In comes Miracle. He got bot racks. He wants Silar. He'll get him once, but can he get it to one? His BKB is down. His ultimate is down. Silar may be looking at two lanes of racks right now. I think that's what you do if you're LGD. Sure, you traded one, but now if you get two or even three, that's going to be game. They need you, because that trade that Zenith got was a great way of defending. The problem is now they can't really defend this mid lane. They couldn't defend top lane without Luna, but Luna made a great decision going for the captain of the racks. His question is, can Zenith keep these mid racks alive? It doesn't look like it. They're going to trade two racks for one set. I still think it's the best possible trade Zenith could have got, but it's going to be so difficult to play from here on out. Yeah, and if you're LGD, you can probably take that tier two on the way out if you want bottom lane. We'll have to see if they go for that one. Holy crap, Silar is fat. And he's even got, I think he's even got the buyback. I don't think he'll boots of travel. Oh, he's definitely got buyback. I don't think he's the boots of travel buyback, though. But they'll go on the racks now. Remember, he doesn't have Aegis this fight. But he's also, well, his team's on the back line. There's not going to be a rack trade this time around. They'll go in on the Silar. A beautiful vacuum is there, but no follow up, really. The ultimate is popped by Luna. Now the roar going on to Miracle. We four steps away. Is it enough? No, it's not. RP on three. And death and destruction will follow. Now Yamate on the run. Yamate being fast, being bullied, being focused down. I think he actually needed an Abyssal Prime there. Not dead just yet. Now gets the sun up on Silar. The buyback comes out from Luda as well as the Darks here. And with those buybacks, as well as a 4 hero vacuum, maybe they defend this. I don't know. Silar's still in the run. Will he actually commit? He needs a secondary oh. stun. Oh no, he thought he could fight. He might have been wrong. He'll blink away. I don't think they get him, but looks like they'll get Yao as well. Yao is low. He'll eat an Illuminate. He drops the gem. He denies it, but not before he goes down. Silar to escape. They defend the rat. When it's all said and done, Tower only brought down to deny range. They're going into the base. Can they get that opening? Remember, no gem. There's no sentries. I think I've seen this movie before with LGD, and I don't like how it ends if Silar gets chased up, but there's the disruption, and I think the jig is up now. They'll have to run. There's your BKB anti mage chopping through Miracle. CDC jumps in. RP on two. They bring Miracle down. Remember, no buyback on him, no buyback on our DK. They're just getting ripped apart right now, one by one. They didn't have the sentry, but what they did have was the Shadow Demon on the back lines. And if they hadn't had him, I think that might have been Zen's fight, but with no anti-mage kill off the bat twice. No I think if you're LGD, you take this Rax. If you want to play it really safe, you need to go back for Roche. He'll bring down the tower. There's no Glim. There's no real way out. Oman Lee can force staff him. x rate him doing whatever he can to hang on. x Panoi doesn't seem like it'll be enough. And now, well, they're going to get three lanes of Rax. And with that, it's probably the game. So LGD China, all but assured at this point. In fact, let's just say it. They're assured. They're going back to the LAMP finals. Your G1 League Season 4 champions now staking their claim to a potential G1 League Season 5. So we'll see a blink in. Our final fight happens at Wallet's Ice. Just melts. No abyssal even needed. Just the first hit smash. Now the abyssal comes out. And they bring down the Dragonite. The vacuum wall does basically nothing. Everybody's still at full HP in the middle of it. LGD. They take the fight. They take the game. They take the series. And on that note, they earn a trip to the Tribal Land Finals once again for the G1 League Season 5. What a performance from these boys.